I'm sorry, I thought we had uh, a quarter of hour, but uh, uh, we have just five minutes, so I will proceed in this manner. We will have a kind of, not blitzkrieg, but blitz questions. Three participants, three questions, 30 seconds for one question, 30 seconds for the answer. I'm sorry to proceed in this way. I see one question here. Two, two questions more. <coughs> two. And the third. A jury. One, two, Over there. three. We, yes, I, and uh, behind. Yeah. The third one. Me, very, very shortly, please, Mr. Kazachkin. Yeah, a quick question to Madame Roska. What has happened in Transnistria since February 24? What has changed? Thank you. The second question. It will make uh, life easier. It's also about Transnistria, but uh, what's the future of Transnistria? Thank you. <laughs> okay, two questions on Transnistria. Other question? Just a few minutes. You... Yes, please. Please, ma'am. So, yes, uh, I would like to know what is the situation in Armenia. I'm sorry, but uh, is, uh, we, we, we had a situation there a couple of uh, weeks ago. So what, is, what, what does it look like now? Thanks. Right. Just, just sorry, we don't have the Armenian participant here, Doug, uh, but maybe if our participant have an idea, you can say. So uh, a little bit less than four minutes, Olga, we will start with you. Right. Uh, Transnistria, of course, Moldova's breakaway region remains uh, a source of instability, a source of uh, insecurity. Uh, 1,600 Russian troops are stationed there illegally. Uh, we, the, the negotiations are currently on hold uh, due to the, the war. Um, but we do maintain the dialogue just to make sure that all tensions are diffused and the solutions for uh, pressing problems of, uh, um, of people on both banks uh, of the river are addressed. Um, the situation remains calm, but uh, of course uh, the, the risk is there and that's uh, uh, important to, to remember that. Thank you, Olga. On Armenia, uh, maybe. Oh, the, the future, sorry. The, the future of Transnistria, I think. Oh, sorry. Um, the reintegration, the, the way we see the reintegration of the country is that it goes hand in hand with the Moldova's uh, EU integration. And as we get closer to the EU and the proposition of the authorities on the right bank of Nistra River is becoming more attractive and we manage to create greater prosperity, um, that will, uh, that will make us more attractive for, for some sort of rapprochement and eventual reintegration. Uh, thank you. On Armenia, uh, Mr. Zarsali, Mr. Vasilyanka, do you have uh, an idea? I know it's, uh, uh, I'll, it's I'll not your country. Your Maybe you, you are the, the, the neighbor, Mr. Zarsali. <laughs> it will be for you. There are, uh, well, there are uh, our good neighbors, so, but it will not be correct for me to talk about uh, uh, our neighbors. But I really want, if I have 30 minutes, use my 30 seconds, if it is possible, uh, talking about not transist, yeah, but about generally uh, with, uh, about the occupied territories or the conflicts in different areas, on post, uh, as you all said, post Soviet space. Uh, um, uh, so uh, I think that it was really good question if generalizing uh, about the situation and uh, in a sense that, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, we have the significant challenges of the whole European security, uh, which started much before uh, mm -hmm. the Russian invasion uh, in the Ukraine. And when, uh, when this is over, as we all want it have to be over in that way. Uh, I think we have to address all these problems of the international and the European security. Uh, and I think uh, when asking what is the future, the future is under the general restoration of the res uh, restoration of uh, European security based on the international principles. This is territorial integrity. This is human rights, first of all. In case of Georgia, we have 80% of uh, population of these territories out of Georgia, 
uh, out of these uh, territories because they were uh, ethnically cleansed uh, during the seven waves of ethnic cleansing. Uh, so restoration of justice, restoration of uh, human rights, first of all, yeah. and restoration of uh, territorial integrity, this is the future. Or we don't have proper international system generally. Thank you very much, Mr. Dosale. I think it's a perfect timing to finish. Thank you so much, Roman Vasilenko, Olga Roshka, Lasha Darsale. And I hope, I wish uh, we can see you next year. And I hope the next year we will speak not about the war, but about the peace. Thank you.